Welcome! In this tutorial series, we'll take a guided tour of Edison, FL Studio's advanced wave editor and recorder plugin. Use the index in the video information below if you're looking for something specific. In this video, we'll show you how to use the integrated equalizer in Edison. Edison has a built in EQ that you can use to modify the frequency balance of samples. It's particularly useful for editing one shot samples and loops, where you'll be using them later as content in your projects. Here's a track I put together earlier using a construction kit. Select the part you want to EQ, then click the Equalize button or press Ctrl Q on your keyboard. There are a few things to notice about the display area. The waveform display is in spectral mode, which shows loud frequencies as a bright gradient, purple for quiet frequencies, to orange, to white for very loud frequencies, and silence as black. However, the spectrum is flipped 90 degrees compared to the normal view, so the EQ curve can be drawn horizontally. Low frequencies are on the left and high on the right. For the audio, vertical represents time. Importantly, the start of the selection or waveform is at the top and the end at the bottom. This means you can view the EQ curve as affecting the vertical strip of frequencies above and below it on the display. Let's adjust the frequency scale so we have higher resolution in the low end. Move a point in the EQ curve up to boost and down to attenuate. Right click to add a point to the EQ curve, then click and drag to move it. To delete a point, right click it and select delete. If you want to delete multiple points quickly, click the pencil to go into step edit mode and right click and drag over the graph. This also works for drawing points quickly. Notice how the section we just boosted got brighter? That is because saturation of color represents amplitude. The smooth option smoothes out the EQ curve to avoid ringing artifacts. Notice the smeared transients in the low end? Let's turn on smooth to alleviate that. Phases will apply the graph to the phase of the sample instead of the amplitude. The top is plus 180 degrees and the bottom is minus 180 degrees out of phase with the original sample. And finally, the mix slider blends between the input signal and EQ'd output signal. Unless you've turned phases on, this will not introduce any phasing artifacts as this EQ works in linear phase. Check out our Parametric EQ2 video in the video information for an explanation of linear phase EQ. The Paste Mix Spectral option in the Edit menu uses this tool to mix the copied audio with the audio in the selection after applying the EQ. I'll use it to grab the low piano note from the first bar of the loop and layer it on the second bar. And with that, you're now able to start using Edison's Equalizer to fine tune your audio easily. As always, remember to check the video information for segments, any relevant manual or video links, and the music used in this video. Yeah. 